mail that comes in. And of course, I get a lot of tips and leads and story ideas from people out there. And I do really appreciate the time that people take to send that in. Unfortunately, again, I don't have time to respond to everyone, but I really do appreciate all of the tips that come in and I try to take a look at everything. And on that note, I received a very interesting little tip the other day, uh, a link to foia.state.gov, specifically a special collection of the Clinton emails. You might have seen the Clinton emails in the news recently, making some various headlines. And, uh, well, this is the, actually the emails, or at least the ones that have been collected and released by the State Department as part of the Benghazi hearings. So you can go and read through them yourself, actually. And this is interesting because I've seen a lot of different stories about this in recent weeks, but I haven't seen anyone actually link to this collection before. So I'm very glad that one listener did take the time to send this in, and I would like to make use of this uh, information and ask if there are any Corbett reporters out there who would be interested in taking a look. I don't know, just randomly looking through or methodically going through if you have a lot of time, just seeing if there is any information in here that's actually worth reporting on, not the kind of made-up left-right BS that they like to report on in the controlled corporate media, but actual information that might be interesting. So... I don't know. Uh, Again, there's a lot of info in here, and I'm sure a lot of it will not be particularly interesting, but you never know what little nuggets might be in there. Unfortunately, I don't have time to go through all these emails myself, but maybe if we all take take a little piece, uh, many hands make light work. So that's an idea. And while I was here looking around, I thought, well, why don't I explore foia.state.gov a little, because it's not a website that I have on my bookmark list, although maybe I should. They have uh, not only the Secretary Clinton emails as part of their collection, but the Chile declassification project, the Argentina and El Salvador and um, Guatemala declassification projects, where they're looking into various human rights abuses that, oh, by the way, the State Department may or may not have had something to do with during the uh, reigns of the dictators in those various countries. Also, the Henry Kissinger telephone transcripts, um, three years worth of uh, Kissinger transcripts, if you can stomach that, and uh, other types of things, Department of State FOIA logs, uh, telegrams transferred to NARA and records released in litigation. For example, the FOIA logs can be quite interesting. I just browsed through a couple, but uh, here you've got the list of all of the things that have been FOIA'd by various people. And uh, if you go down to this page, you'll see that uh, one of the FOIA requesters, Darren Weeks, has requested information on bomb used to create tsunami project seal. Well, you know, interesting. Uh, and there's the case number and everything, so I guess you can probably look that up by case number. Uh, So, again, lots and lots and lots of information here. Again, probably not a lot of it is going to be gold. Uh, It's going to be a lot of government obfuscation and records. But still, I mean, hey, why not? There's, There's a lot of information here. So let's make this a little open source project. If there are any people out there in the audience that want to take a look. I'll, of course, include the link in the show notes, and uh, you can start browsing through yourself. And if you uncover anything, please report back. Um, Don't wait for orders from headquarters. Put it out any way you want. Of course, you can leave it in the comments if you want, and, and hopefully we can unearth something worth looking at. And if you have any other nice little handy dandy websites like this that people may may not be making enough use of, please send that along, because it will be, uh, It'll be interesting to see 